Hello everyone and welcome back to Zelda Breath of the Wild. So where we left off, we just got finished with the plateau and it is finally time to set sail into the rest of Hyrule Kingdom. Here we go. So of course we're headed due east for Kakariku Village. I think we're, just for the sake of this playthrough, we're going to kind of follow the general storyline path that they kind of expect us to go, so yeah. Here's Hyrule Garrison Ruins? Outpost Ruins, never mind. And welcome to Hyrule Kingdom. Brilliant. Um, let's see. So I have the DLC, which I believe there's a book in here about Misko the Bandit and its treasure. There it is. Was this book always here? First page. I hid the eight priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle in treasure chests. I shall write them. I shall write down their locations. Misko. Let's see. So ancient mask. Uh, lit column. Okay, that's pretty. Oh yeah, that's Majora's Mask. The green garments. Uh, that's Tingle's outfit. And then, well, it'll give me the hint, so I can really just skip through. Um, Midna's helmet. Okay, I retract my earlier statement. We're gonna go back and oh, I choo choose. We're gonna go back and pick up the um, the mask, Majora's mask from the lake. So, just to make things easier on myself, some people are getting attacked. I'll save the... Bonk. Well, here we go. <laughs> Mina. Huh. If you think I was in the slightest danger, you need to have your eyes checked. But I like your style. Here you go. Hasty steam mushrooms. Hell yeah. Hmph. I'll go to next time for sure. And who's your lovely friend? Mills, think highly of the Mina is safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting in, in these parts. Alright. Yeah, don't do that again. Except the blood moon means that you will indefinitely for the rest of your... Y yeah, your, your existence. That's kind of sad. I was just like realizing like this is bleak <laughs> as I say it out loud. Shouldn't be too much further. There's a Korok. Ah, there's Vometo. Flying in the distance. Alright. Boop. Now, oop. Fresh lemonade. Freshly squeezed. Oh my god, what are we doing? I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. Ah, that was stressful. Hi. You're like the Jessica Rabbit of the Koroks. There's something about that phrase. It's just, I don't know. Vo um, not voluptuous, but... It's that beauty mark and stuff. It's like, ooh, I'm the hot one of the group. Oh, wait, did I- I went past the lake by accident. Whoops. Oh, well. I'll just make my way over there. Hey, there's one of my arrows. <laughs> and another. That's me being a buffoon. A warm darner. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that- that lonely piano. It comes in every now and then. Yeah, this whole- ooh! Don't mind me, just taking a mushroom. I was about to say, the whole mood of this game feels so crazy different uh, than Tears of the Kingdom. Now that I come back to it. A restless cricket. And then the chest. The legendary Majora's Mask. There we go. Hooray! Now the game is a hundred times easier. So from here then... Oh wait, if I could just put it on. There we go. Brilliant. So yeah, from here on out I'll probably just wear this for like the rest of the game. Oh my god, that's so overpowered. I like that it's in the base game now for Tears of the Kingdom, but at the same time it's also really difficult to obtain by comparison. Fireflies. There we go. Oh. Hi, um, whatchamacallit? Octorok. Don't. I keep thinking I have two lens power for some reason. Can you piss off, bats? You're annoying today. More so than usual. Hi, don't mind me. I'm your lord and savior, Majora. Ow. I'm just trying to get to the shrine. 
fine. Let me be. Oh my god, another freaking swarm. Let me try to just get this guy, this moblin. Oop, never mind. What, what, what did he just do there? Hold on, I need to replay that. I need to replay that real quick, because... Bonk, bonk, bonk. Alright, let me get your bat. And then... Just wear that shit one more time. Alright. That didn't go as planned, but it still worked out. Oh, sorry to disturb you. I'm just passing through. Oop, don't mind me. Hey, shooting star. That must be the omen of my demise. Run. Running. I don't think I'm gonna do, um... Bashkala. I don't think I'm going to do the shrines just yet. I'm going to, like, mark the locations and come back to them later. Yeah, I think that's a solid plan. Proxim Bridge is falling down. Falling down. Anyway. <laughs> hey. You looking at that ruined guardian? Don't mind if... Oh. I was about to say, don't mind if I jump. Please, think about what you're doing. I'm young, but you're even younger. I'm trying my best out here, but I get the feeling that you're going to end up trying even harder in this world. That's the feeling I get when I look at your face. You mean this crazy mask I'm wearing? But maybe I'm nuts. Ah. Now calm down and climb off that rail. And don't climb down that way. Climb down this way. He looks pissed for someone that's trying to ease me out of um, allegedly committing sewer slide. Yeah. <laughs> Sewer slide. Sorry. Let me just censor myself. That is a nice touch, though, uh, that they added. Just like a little awareness of, you know, situations that do happen in real life. Sewer slide. Well, I guess I'm gonna get a star fragment today. It's still, like, right over there. Why not? Oh, I could have grabbed that beetle. But I saw that last second and it just flew away. Oh, hi. Piss off. Leave me alone! I know it's the middle of the night, but like, come on. Oh, do you hear that whippoorwill in the background? Whippoorwill! Whippoorwill! This is, uh, Poplar Foothills, I think is what it's called. Right? Is this the right part of the map, or is it a different spot? Like, nearby. I don't remember. I hear it glowing, but then it's gonna tumble right off the side of the cliff. Okay. Here I am. Oh, catch it, catch it, catch it! I got it! Oh, that was actually really good timing. Ah. Let me go see what's up with this guy. Oh, he's asleep. Let me just wake him up real quick. Yeah. Hero, or Giro, or Gyro. There's a lot of ways you could say that. Hey, you a traveler? Grab a spot by the fire if you'd like. I'm a traveling merchant. Names, I'm gonna say Giro. Nice to meet ya. Crazy times we live in, eh? I go into the forest all on my own to get my wares. But there are far safer ways to get them, such as buying from travelers like you. So, do you happen to have anything? Uh, I wanna sell. A ru I have one ruby. <laughs> That'll get me some money. It's not much, but it's an honest living. I'll sell the star fragment I just got. All right, we're done. Goodbye. <laughs> See you later. Be careful. Yeah, I know. I know how to defend myself. I say that and then I promptly get killed in some really ridiculous way. Sewer slide. Weird. I don't remember this being here. What? It's like facing towards whoever. I've ran past this so many times and I've never even noticed. Hold on, let me get a bomb. Whoa, I've actually never been in here before. How is it that I'm still finding secrets seven years after the game came out originally? That's insanity. Like, there's too many secrets. Ooh, Sapphire. <laughs> they, Ruby and Sapphire, they're finally together. After I mentioned them last episode. Oop, an iron shroom. Oh, there's bats. There's a goat. There's all sorts of things. Oh, choo-choos. Ooh, Staminoka. Eh. Eh. 
There we go. Oh, they're having a little rave in there. Anyway. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't see the other guy approaching behind me. If I wasn't wearing this, that would have been real bad. They're all like, oh, I thought they were um, responding to my presence. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> There's a tower. I could just hop from here. Dueling Peaks Tower. And we made it. Sheikah Tower activated. Man, that whole sequence was always like one of my favorites. The music and the visual of just getting a view from around the tower. Masterful. Anyway, scanning area. Yay, we got West Nakluda. West Nakluda added to the map. Oh yeah. I want to turn the Sheikah sensor off because I actually find it really annoying personally. Um, why off? There we go. Cool. That works for me. Let us continue down the river. Rock salt. Hell yeah. It's like Himalayan salt, but not. Th there's no Himalayas in this game. <laughs> Closest thing is probably um. The Hebrew mountain range. Read he! Read he! Anyway. These are some ridiculous names. Moving on. I know it's boring to avoid all the monster camps, but also it gets me from point A to point B, like, really easily, so... Don't judge me. Some of y'all would do it too. Alright, there's the stable on the next shrine. And some opal. That's my birthstone. Ha uh, da hamar. Ha uh, da hammer. Okay, can I make it over this? Here we go. Beetle, it's you. God, your big, disgusting red nose. Anyway. Wow. Wow. Look what I've got. I would like to sell my soul, please. And this. I'm already a thousand there. Goodbye. I'm just skipping all the dialogue. I know how to catch horses, thank you. Hi, Hi Celessa. And he know. Blood Moon? You don't know it? You fucking moron. Let me attack it a couple of times. Lay an egg. Alright, that's enough. I don't want to get attacked. <laughs> Ah, uh, Misko's treasure? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> the treasure of the great bandit Misko, yeah. There we go. Prison sounds like a... Well, these are all weird names, but Prison in particular kind of just rubs me the wrong way as a name. I don't know what it is. Good morning. Da -da -da -da. Elixirs? Thank you for your elixir. Thank you. For the supplies that I totally didn't steal. I do suppose having a horse would be faster. Let me find one with good stamina. Oh god. Bucky, bucky, bucky. <laughs> Oops. I thought I'd be quick enough and I came up right behind it. Yeah, I don't think these ones that have spots are usually- Oh my god, please. I don't have the horse riz after all. Alright, soothe. Soothe. What kind of- oh, four is really good. I made my ch a good choice. Oh, I- oops, oops. Pff, I didn't mean to do that. What is tonight's moon? It's a new moon. Then what happened to the old moon? Yes, glow with affection. Be my steed! Oh. We just break these open. I'm just a straight up thief. Yeah. Thank you for your supplies. Oops. There we go. You can search under these too, right? Or is it just the old abandoned ones? It might be the old abandoned ones. Get this treasure chest. I almost thought about using the ascend ability, but again, not that game. It's so nice when they just kind of auto steer after a while. 
You don't even have to control them. My oh yeah, it has to so Oh, who did I just run past? Some guy. <laughs> Hestu's up here though, isn't he? Alright. To the fat tree man. Shalaka. You, you can see me? I can't see you. Shalako? Then how are you talking to me, silly boy? Shalaza, Shalaka. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. So please, please get my maracas back for- Yeah, anyway, whatever. Moving on, we know the gist. Here we go. Let's burn them. Oops. Um, I've been spotted. Let me just whack you a bunch. Oops. I smashed that on him. Ouch. I can't see. <laughs> oh, wait, is he gonna... F nope, he's not falling off. Okay. Alright. There we go. Flurry rush. Flur uh, flurry rush again. Okay. Ow. Stop it, you fiend. Ow. Okay, there we go. Come on, beat him up. Beat it up. Don't... Okay. I was like, stop swinging that at me. Nar. Oh wait, rock. Ow. <laughs> that was really awkward and stupid of me. Oh wait, I have no weapon. Okay. Let's use a boko bat. Alright. That was pretty cool at the end. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Next round. Alright. Ooh, bokoblin gut. Imagine if there was a version of Olivia Rodrigo's um, album Guts, but for Bokoblins. Boko Guts. Anyway. And one arrow. What did you need two boxes for? Besides one arrow. Anyway. Estes Maracas. Alright, Tree Man, I got the stuff. How much do you want for them? Anyway. Shalaka! Oh, wait. oh, Shalakala! Those are, those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Here you go. <laughs> my invisible um transaction. Somehow that worked. Shalaka! But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had just one Korok seed. Just one little tree poop. <laughs> I can sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory... Lord, let me start again. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. I have a couple. I have five. The children of the forest, blah blah blah. Give me the stuff. Sniff, I smell tree poop. Yes, please. Shalaka! Um, a weapon, please. I like having weapons. Ah, oh, that's always delightful. But I'm afraid I can't watch that 700 times over uh, for the next however many times I need to expand my inventory, so. Alright, uh, let's do bow. Oh, look at the time. Alright, thank you, goodbye. Let's go to Kakariko. Okay, next Korok seed. Oh, there's a golden, um, rhino beetle. Let me just... Snatch! Yeah, there we go. Energetic rhino beetle. Rhino beetle. There we go. Um, I want a regular arrow to shoot at the eyeball. There we go. I broke my bow. Oh, why the long face? Anyway. I just want some extra arrows. Don't mind me. It's still early game. I could just, you know, take them. I don't want to talk to you. I want to take these arrows. Give me the arrows. <laughs> oh. Oh. Almost. Oh. I got one. Can I get the other? I don't care. I'm just gonna go. Horsey? There you are. Well, anyway, we made it to Kakariko Village. There we go. Alright. 
I'm just gonna glide down there. Whoa, huh? I snuck right past the guards. <laughs> oh, hi, Paya. I love the one foot on the stair there. A man! I'm a man, man, man. Huh? Is that? It's a Sheikah Slade. Could you be the hero that my grandmother told me about? What was his name? L Lin. Um. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. Honestly, same. I feel like I have a hard time reading all these goddamn words. As for me, my name is Pa. Pa. Pi. Oh, my name is Paya. All right, you're cool. <laughs> Phew, got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as it's my own name and all. I'm s sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting your return ever since I was little. Please, please hurry inside. All right, you got it. It's cutscene time once again. So, you're finally awake. You remember me, don't you? Notice how my mouth doesn't align with the words that I'm saying. <laughs> my freaky ass glowy eyes. What is the matter? You were looking <laughs> You were looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiar I mean, I don't know if that's familiarity or if that's just, you know, evil um evil manifested in my eyes. Anyway. It is I, courageous one. Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Impa as in the Chevy Impala? Anyway, I see. So you've lost your memory. What a quick conclusion to jump to. <laughs> well, it matters not. In fact, that may be... In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for that... For the time being, good lord. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Are you like guilt tripping me right now? It's like, I couldn't help it that I fell in battle. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to, to say to you. I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. Don't look at my browser history. <laughs> However, these words, which the princess risked her, li risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still, still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. I'm ready. The words, uh, yeah, I get it. Um, I am ready. Huh. Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice at your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Very well. Since you've lost your memory, I, I will recount for you all that has happened. Basically the same thing the king told you, so I'm just gonna skip the cutscene. As cool as it is. Look at my boots. There's no fur, but... A hundred years ago, in preparation for the fore foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Anyway, but in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we, under we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you with these words. Send nudes. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Four divine beasts? The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. Varudania with the Gorons. Vameto with the Rito. Varuta with the, with the Zora. And Vanaboris of the Gerudo. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beast to help you. You must infiltrate the divine beasts that were so stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. For inf <laughs> more information about these divine <laughs> Oh my god, what am I saying? More information about these divine beasts can be found <laughs> in these pamphlets. Here, take one. 
By locating the four races scattered across Hyrule, the Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Great! She looks so unimpressed in that shot. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Hateno Village? It's all the way out there. <laughs> anyway, that's no problem. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hateno Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant- Oh, suffering significant- Significant? <sighs> anyway, damage during the Great Calamity. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Let me stare at you as if I had blue eyes. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Impa. See you later. And let me just paraglide over your granddaughter real quick. Sorry. Oh, the frame rate is dropping. Hi, Mr. Man. The Congo. There we go. Thank you. Why are you running? Why are you running? Hello. Anyway. Kato. I must be going soon. You have like a very pointy everything. It's just really funny. I must be going soon. They'll be waiting for me, my little ones. Woohoo! Oh God, I love all the naturey sound effects in this goddamn game. Talonag, not Nyag. I don't know. These are still hard to say. All right, there's a fairy, some blue nightshade. Come here, flying to my hands. There we go. Come on. My pocket's a fun little place to live. Come on, tiny glowy person. There we go. Anyway, that's my last fairy. I should be stocked up for now until the next blood moon. Well, the first blood moon for this, actually. Ah, uh, there's that one pedestal for that one quest. Yeah, wait, what am I doing? I could just go find my horse and then ride her back. Him? Her? I don't really know yet. I don't have a name. Hello? Horse? Oh, you're right there. I was like, where in the world could you possibly have gone? I don't want the... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. What are you doing? Oh my god, how do I get you out of here? How do I- how do I actually get you out of here? Oh, this is the worst thing that could happen. Alright, this is a start. But it's still too deep. What is going on? Alright, hold on. I might need to reload a save file. <laughs> Oops. Alright, don't you dare fall. I'm taking you out. <laughs> out of town. Alright, to Hateno Village. And then we'll finally meet the the tiny um, six-year-old version of Pora. Now uh, hold on, let me get this. Uh, sorry, horse. Let me get this Korok puzzle. Oops. I'm forgetting the. I forget I have to press up on the um, thumb pad to do that. There you go. <laughs> Don't mind me. There's just a, a guy sneaking up on me. Yes, give me your poo. Goodbye. Okay. On my steed. Ah, the old wall of Fort Hateno. Mm, there's a person. Hello. Wakey, wakey. Hey. Gorill. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't. It was nighttime. It's fine. I was praying for the souls of the warrior and all who died here at Fort Hateno. That's a totally different thing. You're welcome to join me if you want. Sure. That's a pretty enlightened thing to say for such a young kid. Yeah, I forgot I'm like 17 in this game, huh? And then... 17 or 18. And then he's like, um... I think about six years might have passed, so that would mean... Um... He's like 23, 24. He's like, able to drink in the next game. That's... Yeah. God, what I wouldn't give to have a drink with Link and Zelda. That would be cool. Fort Hateno here was the last line of defense between Hateno Village and the terrible tragedy all those years ago. If not for the... If not for this fort and the soldiers who held the line here, Hyrule as we know it might have might be gone entirely. It's our duty as the survivors to pray that those who gave their lives find peace and pass on the story of the warrior. It's kind of grim to think about um, in the next game how 
You know, you have all those souls trapped in the depths. And they have those polished weapons that they offer you whenever you pass by. Oh god, I hate these ones. Um, I'm just gonna not do that. Let's go visit Dr. Caleb. Caleb. Sir. Oh, there you are. Didn't mean to bump into ya. When a dark light- when a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. I'm not wrong, am I? It must be around here. What are you up to? Don't tell me you've never even heard of me. After I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines? Ugh. Well, you'd better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Caleb, if you please. I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Caleb. I, c I just changed the pronunciation. I feel like Caleb is more natural. Um, so I'm just going to say it as that. I hope I'm consistent. Everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient texts. I haven't time for idle chit-chat. Ancient texts? Soon my long years of research will be revealed, and all the world will hail it as the discovery of the century. To prevent any undue attention, I haven't even told my family about my work. You understand, I'm sure. Of course, Dr. Caleb. Doctor. It rolled off your tongue so naturally. It was down. It was downright salivary. <laughs> Me with my fucking mask on. This is just the funniest thing. Hmm. This changes things. Very well then. I'm feeling charitable, so I'll let a few things spill. This is just between us. Understand? When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. I'm still in the process of deciphering that one, so I don't suppose there's any harm in sharing it with you. That's- well, you think I'm an idiot. Uh, you- you underestimate my abilities, sir. Then again, I am also an idiot, but I remember things. That's my life in a nutshell. Days filled with researching shrines and nights spent studying ancient texts. That leaves no time to converse with passing strangers, so farewell. Bye. I'll just, uh, camp at it. <laughs> I can get out of door. Trust me. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe I'll go wait at this guy's campfire until nighttime. And then I'll venture over and uh, shoot the statue in the eyes. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he just appeared. Never mind. Okay. Um, night. I hope you don't leave, horse. That would actually be kind of sad. And inconvenient. Alright, it is 9 p.m. Oh good, they just freeze in place. Let us go find a shr- Oh wait, what's that little bomb section? I always overlook these parts because I'm just, you know, focused on other things half the time. Look out! Run away! Hey, there's two chests here. And there's a door? What's going on? That pr that's probably Korok over there. An opal. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. Ah, yes, a, a Korok. Ooh, you got a clover, like, butterfly face. Alright, let me go find my horse. Get out of the way, Mr. Bone Man. Oh. Luckily, he can't run too far. Oh. Stop scaring yourself, dude. What are you doing? Is it only a specific model of these or something? Like, where it's still together, but... Hey, come back! Wait! <laughs> horse! Okay, here we go. I think um, it's up here, right? Or did I pass it already? Oh no, this is it. Ooh, I see a radish. A hearty radish. And what's back here? Oh, some a shroom. Alright, let me just ride you in a little bit more. Excuse me, Keys. Okay. Another radish. And... Boop! Oh. My horse got scared of something. <laughs> Oops. Arise, shrine! Arise! Arise! Alright, let me get... Oop! Arrow. Stop. Let me just get this. I don't want any harm! Leave me alone. Okay. Horse! Horse! No! Oh. All you do is abandon me. Nar. Okay. 
Moving on. There's a merchant and a Yiga soldier in disguise. Toma, you got a real eye for coordinating your, uh, outfit. There. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, accurate, but ow. Just take what I say. I have the keenest eye for fashion in the land. Just wait till you meet CC in the next, uh, six years or so. Uh, let's see. Oh, that was it? All right. You're sure breathing heavy there. Ooh. I never see this either. Oh, I was almost too close to that explosion. But I almost never see that pile of rocks um, either. I always just kind of pass it. Oh no, it's raining. Which means, like, I can't burn the brambles until later. Onward! Run him over. Here we go. Oh, I hit him. Run him over! Get trampled! There's another dude. There's another couple dudes. I love how that did half damage to him. That's funny. And then I'll go kill that guy. Hey, where'd it go? Why is stuff despawning? Hello? Uh, maybe I'll stab him with a spear. You got something in your eye. Bam! Oh. He's not gone yet. Where's he going? What are you doing? Oh, he went to grab a weapon. <laughs> Does he know how to get back up here? I mean... What are you doing? Are you lost? This is actually kind of amusing to watch. Oh. There goes his pathfinding. <laughs> okay. Um... We destroy this. Oop. Um, keys. And then you can die. There you go. Oh, uh, the rain should be stopping very shortly. God, why won't you two just leave? I don't want to be bothered. Potato Tower, yeah, we're here. But it's wet outside. I can't burn the brambles away until it's dry. No! Stop running! God, you're annoying for that. And you two are annoying for scaring him off. You're all just annoying. Alright, maybe if I crouch down here, they'll go away. No, they're still coming! Oh my god. Alright, and it's done raining, finally. I suppose now that it's daytime, they can finally despawn. So that's nice. Um, alright. Time to shoot some flames. Oh, apples are flying. And burn. Oh god. Hey, walk into this fire. Or run away. Whatever works. Someone's gonna call the National Park Service for this, right? Oh god. Come on. Go in fuego. Oh god. Let's see. Shoot it up there. Oops, I missed. Ah. One more time. There we go. That should be pretty clear now. And it only took me like five hours in game time. She guitar activated. Another beautiful cutscene. God, I think- I think this is- well, no. I was about to say, this is probably among the most beautiful scenery in Hyrule, but there's cooler, I think. You want some hot, nasty information all up in your Sheikah slate? There you go. <laughs> Alright, we got all of Nekluda. Alright, time to... glide on down to my- my horse, wherever he is. There he is. <laughs> you coward. You ran all the way out here without me. Going down the way to, I was about to say Kakariko, to Hateno Village. Oh, I can see it. It's within reach. Oh yeah, someone's getting, oh wait, no, that's a boar. I thought that was a person. Yeah, <laughs> he just died, I love it. Okay. There we go, someone's getting attacked over there. Oh no, they're knocked out. 
I love how they didn't even notice me. They just let me hit them. Alright. That was kind of anticlimactic, but it works. Oh, I didn't even realize there were two people that got knocked out at the same time. <laughs> and they had the same animation. Ow, ow, ow. And here I was just telling Megan... That's an interesting way to spell Megan. To be more careful of her surroundings. Alright, Nat. Still, for hearty truffles, I'd put up with worse. You guys aren't going to give me anything? Jeez. We were, minding our own, we were minding our own business, hunting for truffles, and then wham! Monsters out of nowhere. You got a very tiny nose. I blame my sister, really. She sh oh, wow. She's the one who refuses to go home until we find some hearty truffles. Alright, well. You guys have fun. Good luck. I probably won't be around for the blood moon. There's a, a person here that I don't usually see. Telly. Hey, the name's Telly. I'm a bit of a treasure hunter if you get my drift. Oh, so you're a thief. It's a, it's a sad story when you think about it. These guardians now hunt down the people um, they were made to protect. Yeah, that's what that says. I can read. Hey, question for you. Do you have any interest in guardian remains? That's code, code word for ecstasy. For marijuana. Anyway, what have you got? I can just hunt down guardians. It's fine. Thank you for nothing. I just wanted to interact with a person. Atano Village, we made it. What? Thad, who are you? Be on your way, you suspicious man. Don't, Don't be suspicious. suspicious. Don't be suspicious. suspicious. I'm a traveler. Look at how he's holding his hand out there. That's funny. You certainly do appear to be a Hylian like the rest of us. I mean, the Sheikah are technically also like Hylians. They're just like a different ethnic group. Hylians are generally good folks, so... Sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on... We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well, you can go get most things you need at the general store, and the inn is just back there. Thank you, sir. Yeah, why is he just holding his hand out on the left side like that? Uh, there. Hey, mister. Hi, Tebow. What is it, buddy? You'll never guess what I found. Want to see? Sure I do. Okay, follow me. It's a horrifying demonic monstrosity. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're really slow, but... It's fine. I can... I know where I'm going. Hello. It's the horny statue. Oh, your stubby little legs. That's funny. Here it is. Neat, huh? It looks kind of like the statue at Chief's house. What do you think it is? I think it's like the... The diametrical opposite of that, actually. <laughs> She's got bags under her eyes. Ah, so there is still... Oh, so there is some who still pay me homage. You can talk? You don't say. You can hear my voice? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, eh? <laughs> if you say so. Just know that I'm willing to strike a bargain with anyone who can hear my voice. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She trapped me in the stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here call me the horned statue and don't even bother to wipe away, wipe away the bird droppings. One would think years upon years of such treatment would have made me mend my ways. One would think wrongly. I have only been biding my time for the moment someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. But I've said enough. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Then stay that way. No further action on your part is required. Nah, my life force. Oh. <laughs> my touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Bitch! Um, were you talking that statue? Well... Wow, you talk to statues? Weird. You're a freak. Okay, see ya. Bye, little man. As for you, Miss Girl... What's wrong then? Have your prayers gone unanswered? Give it back. <laughs> Do you? did you think I deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So, 
Which will it be? As I may have mentioned once or twice, I'm a dealer in life and power. I can provide a valuable service to you. I take heart containers or stamina vessels from you, and then, for a price, return whichever of the two you like. Give me a heart. A wise choice. Now, remain still. Boop. Ugh. Ugh. This doesn't feel great. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. I... Oh. If you're ready... I thought that said I'm. If you're ready to bargain, then first you must sell, sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120 rupees. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you. A heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help tamper with your essence anytime you want to return and pay, pray here. Alright, thanks statue. See ya never. Thought you could lose me, Squirt. I'm faster than you. Oh yeah. Let me go get the shrine and then I think that's gonna be it. <laughs> faster. Faster. Miyamagana. Alright. Oh, we made it to frickin' Hateno Village. Let me stand on the roof like I'm freaking Batman or something. Alright, so we are out of time for this episode. If you liked everything you saw, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And to hit that little notification bell to stay up to date on future content just like this. My name's Paiotic, signing off. Bye!